Hello everyone and welcome back to So What If I Sew, or welcome if you're new. My name is Jess and this is my channel all about sewing, dressmaking and all things stitch related. Now I should um, offer a preface with this video which is the sound in my new sewing room is a bit echoey. Um, I've opened the window which does seem to have helped but then you know you may get other sounds so we'll work with it, we'll see what, <laughs> see what we can do to help. Um, I think as well once we're fully unpacked it will probably help a bit more to dampen the sound but just bear with me this week if possible. So as you may have noticed, we moved house, yay! It's finally happened. So um, today I'm gonna to give you a little tour of my new sewing space. I'm uh, gonna talk about some of the differences between the old and the new, uh, and some of my favorite new things in the space, as well as an exciting collaboration um, I have undertaken with the lovely team at Serious Lights. And then finally, we're gonna talk through my sort of resolutions for my new sewing space. Um, and thinking about whether I can use this new space as a way to jumpstart maybe some better sewing habits. So, grab a cup of tea and let's talk all things sewing room. So the first thing to kick off with really is that we have obviously moved house. So what I did is I vlogged a little bit while we were moving. And um, so I've popped that in here so you can see a bit of the journey and I've talked through, like I've walked you through with the camera with the actual space. <laughs> This is the new office slash sewing room. So if you can hear that in the background, but there are owls outside, so that's fun. So this is the office that Adam and I will share. Um, and you can see some of my bits. There is the vast majority of the stuff in here is sewing related. Um, but I'm thinking my desk will go over here, some sewing storage there, my dress form, and then Adam's gonna have this sort of L. So. I'll show you a bit more tomorrow. So here we are. This is the new sewing room. So please excuse any mess over here because um, because of Adam having COVID, I have been in here and he's now allowed in here, but he's not a time to unpack. So please ignore this. My overlocker, sewing books, patterns, book patterns down there. So like um, the tilling the buttons, make it simple. That kind of stuff is all down in the bottom shelf. Then here is my beautiful desk. So I've got my nice mood board there, which is, it's always meant to be nice things for me, but it used to be more sewing focused because it was in the background of more videos. My beautiful desk that you guys know I love. And then down here, we have a mess of cables right now. And then patterns with also pattern drafting stuff, bulkier fabrics. And then over here is what I'm really excited about. Um, so we have got, some art on the walls. I'd like to get a third picture here with my So What If I Sew logo. I think that'd be really cute. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out how to get that printed at the moment. And then I have both sewing machines, which I love. This is what exactly, I'm gonna pull the chair out so you can see. This is exactly what I envisaged um, with my sewing machines accessible, but then having a clear desk, because then that means I can access my scissors. I can work on here, which I need to do but then my sewing machines are there. And it also means when I pull one sewing machine across, I can put my laptop over there so I can still read instructions, which is ideal. And then I've got my thread over there. Um, this is pins, shops, my clappers back there, but it's also sort of aesthetically nice. Uh, interfacing, point turners, all that kind of stuff. Buttons are back there. And then we have light fabrics mainly wovens, couple of bits of ribbing and stuff, and then much heavier fabrics. My new project bags are here. I'm gonna find somewhere better to store them. But if I pull that back, um, these were all my fancy fabrics, so my laces, my um, satins, silks, sequins, all that kind of stuff is all here. Haberdashery box, uh, not a random bra. I'm actually working on the Harriet bra pattern at the moment, and this is my old one, so I've got it here to refer to. But this is my haberdashery box. Some fabric swatches there as well if I need them. Should need to stop leaving this everywhere. And then both my sewing machine tables live here currently. And then here are all my big PDF patterns in the 8-4 envelopes. 
and down at the bottom are cameras, recording equipment, tripods, etc. So welcome to my new sewing room. I'm absolutely in love, honestly. Um, it is, I, I just feel so at home. And I think one of the big things is our last office slash sewing room um, had a lot of built-in storage, which was nice, but it impacted the way we could lay out the room. And I kind of had to use what was there rather than getting to like create my own space. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm loving it in here. Particularly, I adore this unit. This is exactly what I was imagining. I love having both of my sewing machines out. I love actually having desk space because it means I can cut out fiddly things on my desk. There's just, there's so much more space to create, which I absolutely love. I think, yeah, my favorite thing I think is definitely this unit. Um, something I miss is, you may have noticed my dress form isn't in here. It's currently in the corridor because once Adam has unpacked his stuff, we're going to figure out where in here it can go. It needs to go somewhere and I'm not sure where, but we will figure it out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's like the only thing that's not in here at the moment, <laughs> but, um, it is in the hallway and I am using it, so it'll be fine. Um, so in a minute, I'm going to tell you a little bit about a lovely collaboration I've got that I've been undertaking um, and about a lovely product I've been using. But in the first place, I want to tell you, because people always ask me what machines I've got. So currently, I have still got my Singer Heavy Duty, which is the 6705C, um, which is the computerized that I was gifted, and my lovely Singer Starla. I am so happy to have them both out. Currently, this one is threaded with black thread for a really exciting pattern I'm working on as part of a collaboration. Um, and this one is threaded with, what is it threaded with? I'm gonna say white, yes, because I need to put buttons on my new Marlowe cardigan that I've made in white. Um, so I've got both machines and that's actually, it's so lovely having two machines that I can just grab, they're both right here. The pedals are just down there so I can find them. And it's actually, I, I really found it's helped in terms of quick sewing because you just grab the machine that's closest to what you need. Um, and also because, although this is a heavy duty by nature, they have pretty similar capabilities. Um, so as long as I don't need any of the fancier stuff from here, I can just grab this machine and get going because I love them both equally. I really do. And then of course my overlocker is still exactly where it used to be next to the desk, but I can just sort of see everything. And when I'm not on camera, the covers are on these as well to keep them so they're not too dusty or anything. Um, also in the back of the door right now, um, hopefully you will have seen it by now on Instagram anyway, but um, I just need to hem the sleeves of my latest chalk and notch fringe dress. I've linked so long for that below, but I love the first one I made so much I had to make another one really. It's, a, it's just, what else could I do? Um, so to make things, things that need hems dropping, are currently living on the back of the door. But that being said, Adam's not got any of the back of the door yet, so I will have to probably relinquish some to him. I feel like that's probably fair. Um, so let's talk a little bit about my lovely light that you might have noticed is now on. So as you all may remember, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that um, I have undertaken a really exciting collaboration with the team at Serious Readers. So Serious Readers are a UK based company. They are actually based here in Buckinghamshire where I am. Um, and they approached me to see if we'd like to do a little collaboration and if I'd like to try out one of their lights to which I said, absolutely. Because as a sewist, I find that I am somewhat limited by the amount of daylight available in the UK. Um, particularly, so in the summer I will get loads of sewing done, particularly after work, because it's light enough. But in the winter I found I was really, really struggling. Like I just, I didn't have the energy. I found that I couldn't do fiddly detailed work at night without making mistakes. It just wasn't bright enough. Um, and for me, this has actually made a massive difference. I'm also somebody with really quite poor eyesight and I don't really want it to get any worse. So when um, the lovely team at Serious Readers approached me and said, would I like to try one of their Serious Lights? The answer was a resounding yes. Um, so this is next to me, one of the Serious Lights. Um, I have got the high definition table light. Um, I went for the heavyweight base, which is really, if I, oh, try to lift it up, it's really heavy. Um, but, I need that because I'm quite clumsy. So I wanted something that would be planted on the table. It's got a nice bendy neck. I got it in white with um, a chrome or a, no, sorry, a nickel finish, excuse me. Um, and what's really exciting about these lights is that they emulate 
daylight basically so they have daylight wave technology they get as close as physically possible in a literal light to daylight and that is amazing particularly for eyesight because it means you're working with something that can actually emulate like the correct colors you can see detail and initially when i started using it i was like oh it won't be that different my god it is it really really is particularly as when i first got it i was working on my black true bias marlo cardigan which i love it's one of my favorite things in the world but trying to unpick black stitching and black overlocking on black fluffy knitted fabric is is not easy at the best of times and i found that using this light i was suddenly able to see everything perfectly um now these lights are generally you know as by the name you'd think serious readers they are for reading and they absolutely are but they are also for close detailed work and one of the things i absolutely loved when i was chatting to the brand is i found out one of their first light commissions was actually making craft lights for singer and as we know I like a singer machine. So I was like, oh, that's so exciting. Because that shows that they understand what's needed by the sewing community. Now, there are a range of lights available from the entry level right up to the more advanced specification. I do have a rather exciting discount code, which is fun. Um, so you are eligible for a free version of the compact light um, with any purchase of any of the lights in the serious light range. So. This is the high def, but also the Alex lights and the classic lights as well. Um, as you guys know, I'm always very honest in these videos. So this lamp right here that I have retails for about £350. But I will say that is 300, no, sorry, 200 quid cheaper than my actual glasses. So <laughs> do you know what? I'll take it. Um, it is one of those things where for me personally, it's worth the investment. Um, although I should say, obviously, I've been gifted this as a PR product. This is something or something in this line that I was actually saving up for as somebody with poor eyesight. I don't want to end up not being able to see what I can do. Um, and also just the difference it has made. So when I put it on at night, um, being able to just see what I'm doing, I can feel my face relaxing. It's ridiculous. I can show you a little bit about how it works. Um, so this is the actual light. It is LED. So there's a little switch at the back, you turn it on, and then we can, there is, if, you can, if I turn that sideways, there's a little dial at the back so you can change the brightness, hopefully you can see that changing. And then you can also change the beam width, which I love. So if you, um, if you, uh, what's that, turning? Yes, I feel like, <laughs> because I'm going sideways, I'm just not thinking what it is. Um, so you can see that's a more concentrated beam, and then we open it out and that's much wider. Um, I found the concentrated stuff great for working on like quite specific unpicking um, but when I turn it on generally I tend to leave it on um, the broader beam and I put it over the desk and when I put my cutting board out on the desk it means I can see absolutely everything. Um, in a video I've got coming next week I actually use this to help me cut out my um, lingerie lace for my bra and it made such a difference because I just for those fiddly projects where I'm really worried I I'm going to make mistakes it kind of helps me concentrate apart from anything um so I absolutely adore adore this lamp um it is something I would now buy even if I haven't been given one and it's definitely something I'm gonna like recommend to people like my dad who does a lot of close work so <laughs> it's definitely something I'm gonna recommend to people so thank you so much to the team at Serious Readers um it was just a really lovely brand to get involved with it's a local brand to me the lights were built in the UK the quality is exceptional. The delivery was amazing. I love the level of um, customization. So thank you so much to the Serious Readers team. I'm I'm in love. I'm in love with my life. And thank you all so much for watching as well. As I said, I don't do sponsored segments very often, but it does support uh, me being able to create content for you guys. So thank you so much. And now let's have a chat about some other stuff that I love that is new to my sewing room. So the other new thing that I am in love with are my new project bags. I was shamelessly influenced by Ruan, the Yorkshire Sew Girl. Um, and I bought some, I bought a pack of five, they're from Amazon, which, you know, I'd rather they weren't from Amazon, but <sighs> needs must and all that. I'm gonna just give you a little rundown of what I'm working on, but look how great these are. I'll show you, show you the full one. Um, I love this. 
because it just means that throughout the project process, I can put the pattern in here and the fabrics when they arrive before I even done anything with them to know what is going to be used for what. So for example, this is like a project ready to go, the pattern's in here, the fabric's in here. And then for example, this is a project I'm working on that is all cut out. Um, this one is semi-sewn together, but there's still, for example, for this, which I'm so excited to show you. Um, oh, hopefully I will have shown you this actually by the time this video goes out. But if not, um, shh. <laughs> so basically, I'm making an amazing bomber jacket from Cashmere Um And it is just, it's so gorgeous. It is the Kindle bomber jacket. The pattern is already out actually, but there's an exciting other announcement that's coming. Um, but for that, there's a lot of pieces. There's a lot of zips. There's a lot of facing. There's a lot of random little bits that go into a bigger project. Having everything in here is amazing. Um, so I've got a five project active at the moment. I have this uh, lovely bomber jacket. I have a Marlowe cardigan that literally now just needs buttons and then it will be fine. But because it's white, I'm keeping it in the bag because I don't want it to get like dusty or anything. Um, Harriet bra, which you will see next week. Um, it's all cut out, some of it's done, but wait for the next vlog to find out how this is going. And then this is my guest vlogger project for Lush Cloth that you will get to see in May. It may or may not be the Pietro trousers or shorts, who can say? I uh, think you will find out in a blog post then. And I'm also making a beautiful butterick. Oh, it's, that's funny. It's the same code as my sewing machine. 6705 in lilac silk, which I'm really excited about. And that is going to feature on my Instagram very soon. I need it for work because it's starting to get warm, uh, but I need something appropriate to wear. So that is um, what this is going. So you can see I've got five projects on the go. Now, what I love about this as well is I'm not by nature a batch cutter. I've always really struggled with storing stuff. But actually, um, what I found is that having the bags ready to go means that when I finish work, I can just grab one. And then it's like, right, I'm doing this now. And I found that's really helped with like my productivity and with being able to do like little bits of sewing as well. I used to feel like I had to get to a point where I didn't have bits floating around. Whereas now they can just all go back in the bag. And in my sort of aim to be a bit more mindful, I find these have been really, really supportive. So my final bit of this video is my my resolutions, as it were, with so in the middle. <laughs> Terrible pun, but here we are. Um, there's two things. Firstly, I am going to try to embrace batch cutting, batch sewing, batch interfacing, because I need to recognise that my work life does not allow me the very long sewing days that I adore. And sometimes I will get to do them, but sometimes I won't. So what I really need to do is consider how um how I can best fit sewing into my day-to-day -day life and for me that is being able to grab a project bag and do a bit and know that I've not lost any pieces and know that it can go in the bag if it's covered in pins it doesn't matter um and that's been really useful so trying to embrace that and also um my other resolution as it were is to keep my sewing space tidy so that it's still a zone of relaxation for me. When it gets messy, I can't bear being in here and then I don't sew. So trying to keep a handle on the state of my sewing space and make sure that it's always a joyful place for me to be and for me to sit in. So all that remains for me to say is thank you so much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure. I'm really excited to be back on YouTube. Um, I should say my Wi-Fi in the new house is absolutely appalling. So um, I'm going to have to be filming a little bit differently because I, I don't know how uploading at home is going to work. So apologies if it's a little rocky for the next month until I figure out the best way to get a guaranteed upload speed in those hours. Um, but thank you all so much for watching and for supporting and I will see you next time.